What's up guys, it's Arnold here. Today, we're gonna talk about dollar cost averaging. Now, before you click away from this video, this is not the name of some econ class where you fell asleep at. Actually, it might be, but hear me out, it's super useful and it actually might make you a millionaire someday. So, today we're gonna talk about what it is, why it works, how to do it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, what is dollar cost averaging? Well, it's an investment philosophy where you're buying into the market at a consistent rate. It's kind of a fancy way of saying you're investing a certain amount uh, every week or every month. For example, you can say you're gonna invest $500 every month on the first into VTV, an ETF. That is dollar cost averaging. Now, to really show you how powerful dollar cost averaging really is, I'm gonna walk through an example of John, Paul, and Mary. Three individuals that invested $100,000 into the stock market from 1970 onwards, albeit at very different points of time using very different philosophies. Okay, so starting with John. John had the worst possible luck in the world. He actually invested into the market at the worst possible times. So he invested right before the 1987 crash, right before the dot-com bubble, and right before the 2008 financial crisis. He started off with $100,000 and now he ended up with $600,000 by investing in those worst possible timings. Not bad, right? $100,000 turning into 600,000, that's still something, right? That's pretty good. Okay, now let's take a look at Paul. Paul invested $100,000 at the best possible timings. He knew the future. He saw the crashes before it even happened. So right after the dot-com crash, right after the 1987 crash, right after the financial crisis, he bought into the dip. He bought in the best possible timings and rode the wave up to today. So he started off with $100,000, same thing with John, and ended up with $900,000. Pretty good, right? It's a $300,000 difference. You know, he made more money by investing in the better timings. Okay, so Mary was a bit different. Mary knew about dollar cost averaging. She might have seen this video by time traveling into the future, but she knew that dollar cost averaging is the way to go. So what she did was that she invested into the market very consistently every month from 1970 onwards to today. So she started off with $100,000 and ended up with $1.3 million. So a $300,000 difference to the one that invested at the best possible timings, double the amount that John invested, who had the worst possible timings. Now the sources are all in the description box below, but the math checks out. This is the power of dollar cost averaging. If you invest in the market consistently and frequently, it will ride out the ups and downs of the market and give you better returns in the long run. So there are three main takeaways here. Firstly, consistent investments made over a period of time would certainly beat the best possible timings. This is the power of dollar cost averaging. Secondly, a well-diversified portfolio would generally beat out any stock picking you choose. If you just buy into the entire market, by buying an index fund, such as VTV, that will generally beat over any stock that you choose one by one. And finally, time in the market beats timing the market. This is why even though Paul had the best possible timings and he saw the future, he still couldn't beat out Mary who did consistent dollar cost averaging. And that is because Mary had time in the market. She was able to consistently invest and that money grew and grew and grew consistently uh, to beat out over the better timings that Paul had. And now this takes us to how to do it. And the great news here is that it's super easy. Firstly, every time you get your paycheck, invest 20% according to the 50-30-20 framework that I outlined here and invest it into the stock market. Well, you can ask, what do you buy? Well, the easiest thing to do is to buy an S&P 500 index fund, something like VTV, where it captures the entire market. So every time you get your paycheck, invest 20% of it into the stock market index fund. And that is that, that is dollar cost averaging. As long as you do that for the remainder of your working life, you can probably retire pretty comfortably. However, I do want to get into a little bonus section, if you will, a little caveat. First of all, past performance does not necessarily indicate future performance. Even though the stock market has performed in a certain way over the past 100 years, for example, it is not a guarantee for how it will perform in the future. Secondly, as a little bonus, I like to apply dollar cost averaging to growth stocks. That is really just my personal risk appetite. I really see certain stocks performing way better in the future than the general market, so I like to invest in those stocks and dollar cost average into them. For example, I think innovation is something that will define the success of companies moving forward. So I invest in ARKK, which is an innovation fund, and a dollar cost average into that. So it's essentially the same thing as your regular old dollar cost averaging, except I'm supercharging it uh, with what I see as growth stocks and what I see as greater potential for the future. Now, a major disclaimer here is that you should modify this according to your risk appetite. 
If you wish to have a lower risk, then invest in the stock market index. If you'd like to do your own research and see what has better returns in the future, then look at something like ARKK, like I did. But again, do your own research and come up with your own conclusions as to what you think will perform in the future. I'm gonna talk about this further in a future video, so please subscribe if you wanna stay tuned. So that's it guys, to summarize, just take a portion of your paycheck, 20% every month, and invest in the stock market. Easy as that. That is dollar cost averaging, and that is how you retire a millionaire. So that's it guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and maybe even comment, and I'll see you in the next video.